and let that place be where wherever you need to be right now and if you're in a space where you can allow your eyes to close do that otherwise just set your gaze on a spot in front of you <clears throat> and as you do that I invite you to notice your breath notice it as it slowly begins to flow in and as it slowly begins to flow back out and as you find that rhythm notice the pulsation in Sanskrit, we call it the spanda, the expansion into the space around us. And that contraction, that returning inward again. You may notice that it is a very slow pulsation this morning. You may notice that it is a little faster. But there is this pulsation. It doesn't need to be completely rhythmical at all. Sometimes the inhalation, the outward pulsation is wide and long and expansive. And sometimes it's not. And so too with our evolution. As we inhale, sometimes we really go far in our growth journey. We go beyond what we think is capable, beyond our wildest dreams. And sometimes as we exhale, we go into a little bit of a depth journey, a little bit of a healing crisis sometimes. And sometimes it's just a small one and sometimes it's a real strong, full exhalation, like a deep depth journey that we actually didn't anticipate. And just know that when there is growth and when there is depth, it's just the opposite of each other. Neither is better or worse than the other. We need both. We need both the inhalations. We need both our exhalations. We can't live a life just with an inhalation. We have to have that empty, quiet space as well. And so when we step into and tap into that, we realize that there never really is anything bad happening to us. It's just an opportunity to learn and to grow. And so I invite you to stay in that pulsation for just a moment longer. And maybe just observing where you are on that spectrum. Are you heading up a growth path? Are you going further than you anticipated? Or are you heading down into a little bit of a depth journey and covering a little bit more about yourself? And remember, we can't always just hang out in the depth. We need to head into the growth at some stage as well. And we can't just head in the growth or spend time in the growth. We need to dig deep sometimes because that is where we gain the strength, the knowledge, the insight to go far and deep or far and high, far and wide. So just thinking to yourself, feeling where you are on that spectrum, on that spiral.
And then just letting it all go, releasing. And then from there, you can bring the palms of your hands together when you are ready, getting your hands really nice and warm. Cupping them over your eyes, taking a deep breath in. And slowly out. Blinking your eyes a few times as you get used to the light. You're looking out of a window or a door, looking out at nature if you can for a moment. Draw your gaze into a pretty picture. And then when you're ready, you can draw your attention back to the screen. All right, welcome back everyone, good to see you.